Hey everybody! Welcome back to OK Okey. Woohoo! So today we're going to be heading to Seaside to talk with the amazing manager Dawn. We love her. She's yes. the best. And we're going to also be talking about... We're going to go and we're going to ask her some questions first. Yep. Do a little Q&A. And then we're going to talk about their first anniversary party, which is coming Woo! up, which is super exciting. We're going to try some amazing desserts. And yeah, so we will take you guys along and show you where Seaside is. All right, you guys. See you there. Bye. Bye. Welcome back. We have made it to the seaside. We are here with the beautiful, perfect, Ooh. amazing, ravishing Dawn, who is the manager here at Seaside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. Sorry. Brief intermission. Brief intermission. We're back. We're going to ask Dawn some of our little Q&A questions. We'll insert our little segment here. Um, and we will kick it off. So we're going to start with, obviously, who are you and what do you do at the seaside? I am uh, Dawn Wallace, and I am the manager here. Woo! Well, that's, that's a plane. <laughs> One second. Okay, next question is, how long have you worked at Seaside? I've worked at Seaside since we reopened. Okay. So, I actually uh, came on board, like, right before the grand opening on okay, April 2nd. Okay. What is your favorite thing about Open Hour? Honestly, just this. This view <laughs> yes. is relaxed. Oh. Yeah. view. The people are amazing. Yes. Just everything about this island is just great. Yeah, I definitely. love it. And where did you move to Oki from? We actually came from Georgia, Fort Stewart. Oh, yeah. wow. That's, that's a little bit different. Than... Go Army. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. All right. And what is your favorite place you've ever lived? I think it would have to be a tie. Ooh, okay. I loved Germany. Oh. And I love here. Yeah. So the these are very two... very different landscapes. Right. But... My thing is when I go to a new place, does it make me feel like I'm at home? And Okinawa and Germany both made me felt like I was at home. Yeah, absolutely. So I just immediately fell in love. And as you can see, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right. Do you have any hobbies? And what are they? Can you? Actually, because I'm a chef by trade, right. so my hobbies include baking, because Ooh, pastry uh, chef was my specialty. Bake. Uh, it is so. bake. Baking is a science. If I've learned anything with my yes. uh, very limited it skills I have, a it's a science. science. It's just one thing wrong yes. ruins Throws it off. everything. Throws the whole thing off. Yeah. I actually had someone relabel the salt and sugar one time. Oh, I had no. these saltiest cookies. Ooh, but this is why I'm you're not supposed a salty cookie person then. No, this was horrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, too far, too much this salt. This is why you always make sure your ingredients are labeled properly. What is your least favorite chore? Dishes. It's always a toss-up between dishes and laundry, I feel like. I love my kitchen personnel because they do the job I hate. Now, I am not above doing dishes. I will jump in and do dishes right. whenever. Ditto. However, I hate them. Yeah. I, I hate laundry. I hate laundry, but I also hate dishes. Something about looking at dishes piled up in a sink I think it's brings more, me stress like no other. I hate putting them away more than I hate anything else. Like, it's not even... Really? It's just... Like once you've done the laundry and once you've done the dishes, putting now you're putting laundry up. Is yeah, tough. yeah, yeah. Putting laundry I'm just up like, sucks. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand that. All right, what is one thing that people don't know about you? I'm also a tornado nerd. Tornado nerd. Like I'd love to like. I'm. I'd be one of those. Would you go chase would, tornadoes? Yeah, I would oh be one of those goodness. people who would chase. Oh I would goodness. definitely like be into. So I'm. I'm a nerd about three things: anime, food science, and storms in general. Just like weather. Yeah. So. <laughs> The typhoons fascinate oh, me. Also, you're like in your element here. You yeah. never know what the weather is going to be. I know. Like, I'm so. just like, what is it? I'm always looking at the clouds like, ooh, yeah. which way is it going? Uh, should I should I put on the shutters? <laughs> Do we have to bring in the cushions? <laughs> is that a storm on the front? <laughs> storm What's the weather looking like now? Is it going to rain? Ah, uh, I can smell it. It's coming. Later this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. You, you heard it. <laughs> you heard it here first. I am not a meteorologist. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. All right. What do we have next? Okay. What's your favorite thing about working at Seaside? My staff. Honestly. You do. Like honestly, I can always say the Seaside. 
roadside staff here is the best. Yeah, the staff. customer service is phenomenal. Every time I come here, I always feel like the most important person. Uh, they are amazing. Like when you come on board as a manager, that's kind of like your first. Oh, what's it gonna be right. like? And they are amazing. I don't have problems. They are just great. You ask them to do anything, they'll go above and beyond. And I'm always just like, thank you so much for your help, you guys. Yeah. And it's like, I mean it. Like, nothing would get done around here if it wasn't for them. Right. So that's wonderful. All right. And then the last question from me, and I'll switch to Nat, is are you more of an introverted person or an extrovert? Extrovert. So I, say, I feel like when you, know, you meet Dawn and you, like, see her on the street, she will make you feel like you're the only person that she's ever yeah. seen in her whole life. She's I like, love to spread the love. Yeah, she does. She's, like, walking a ray of sunshine. All right, that's all of my questions for now. We're going to switch over to Nat's questions, and we'll see you in a second. All right, Dawn, it's my turn. All right. <laughs> now you're really in the hot Round seat. Now two. you're really in Fight. the hot seat. <laughs> okay, so what is your dream job? Owning my own business. So basically kind of like this. Like, yeah, so like owning a restaurant? Or right. I My dream job, eventually, I want to open a pastry shop. Like a, a mom and top yes. where we sell cookies, cakes, and pies, and just kind of do my thing at Love night that. and then that sell it during awesome. the day. I know she one time made our office oh, this lemon pie. It was life changing. Still have dreams about it. It was <laughs> best so lemon pie I've good. Had. It was so good. So good. So good. I'm glad you liked it. So, what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Independence Day. Oh, oh, I like it. And The Princess Bride. Oh, I so love you have Princess Bride. Bride. <laughs> it's a classic. You can't yes. go wrong with that movie. Classics. Instant classics. I love it. Ramen or sushi? Ramen. Ramen. Do you like sushi? No. <gasps> Don't, I tried. First bite. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. And um, there's this one place in mainland Japan. His name is Jiro. He's been making sushi since he was 18 years old, and he is the only five-star Michelin-rated sushi chef. Oh, I think in I've the seen world. a video about him. So in I the want, world? Yes, I want to go to his place and try his sushi. Yeah. And, and maybe I think make you like yes, because I think if you have it made properly, right? Like buy a professional. Yes. Don't buy like garage store yeah. <laughs> California <roll> like. <laughs> like just random sushi you gotta right. get it from like properly made by an expert and yeah. then I can say I can make my final judgment and say yes but I, it's a texture thing for me mm. the texture thing's hard to get past I feel like yes. if it was like a raw fish thing or a workaround but yeah. not sure that's a tough texture one. just like oh, no. <laughs> ramen is so much more better <laughs> yeah. do you have a favorite ramen restaurant out here Yes, I have become a ramen snob Ooh. in Okinawa. <laughs> I feel like I feel that way too. Now I'm just like, oh, this is not good ramen. Or it's too salty. And I'm right, just like, okay. um, it's a place called Garlic Ramen. It's actually right past the garlic house. Okay. And the garlic house it's there? just got, it says garlic ramen on it. And the ramen there is so amazing. I think it's a simple means less, like a less is more yeah, type yeah. thing. And it's yeah, just yeah. simple, great ramen. And it's got a ton of garlic. And I'm just, uh, what's your favorite hood childhood food? Child favorite hood childhood. No. Favorite hood childhood food. I'm taking it back to the hood right now. Um, Thanksgiving dinner. Ooh. Yeah. That dish on like, Thanksgiving dinner? Do you say cranberry sauce is over? No. no. <laughs> the desserts. Yeah. It would be the Pumpkin desserts. Pie, yep. Apple pie. Yep. I'm because a stuffing girl. I've Ooh, technically been stuffing. cooking since I was five years old. Mom would be like, get in here, it's Thanksgiving, we got 20 people coming over, oh so my goodness. I'd be like, hot rolling rolls, yeah. in and the trenches, doing pies, all the things. and it was like, now it's like the Super Bowl for me, I'm like, game time, yeah. put the little makeup on, you're like, <laughs> dun -dun 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 -dun. and you're like, all right, so I don't sleep the night before Thanksgiving, oh my goodness, always, it's, a feast. it's a up all night, you got a plan, you, you got, got this, you got, yeah, you're like, it's game time, what time is it? Like, all right, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Oh, Ooh. vanilla. It's so... My husband's watching it, this. He's like silently cheering because <laughs> I always give him heat for liking vanilla. Because there's so many flavors too. in the world. And vanilla? Yeah. Because it's the most classic. And sometimes says. classic is best. And it goes with so many other That's flavors. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah. You could give me any flavor and I'll pair it with like some vanilla. And it'll, and it'll be, be great. just great. So. <laughs> All right. That's fair. That's fair. What is something that you're trying to master? My next challenge that I would like to master is Middle Eastern, Indian, Persian cuisine. Uh, the flavors are complex. There's a lot of spices involved. And I just, it's the one thing I just don't, I have no clue where to begin. 
I'm it like, is. Grandma Sala, what is that? Like, <laughs> so it's so many flavors. I just, I, I'm really interested in learning that, like Lebanese food. Uh, yeah. I want to make a donor kebab at home. I just need that marinade. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you have any pet peeves? <laughs> <laughs> not even a pet peeve, but it's more of a less not loving what you do. Like mm. keeping your, continuing to keep yourself in a stage where you're not happy with things are. Yeah. And that type of negativity that you have from that, that energy, right. it's, it like creeps out into yeah. other like places. spreads in your whole life. Yeah, yeah. and you're just like, I'm sorry you don't like what you do, but I love what I do. Yeah, so. it's like what I always ask behind the camera, if you guys are wondering how we're having such <laughs> stable <laughs> shots this time around. At is behind the camera, and at always says it never feels like work. And I feel like that's how we should feel about it. Exactly. Right so. Especially as you spend so much time at your job. Exactly. So much time. Yep. So what's your favorite thing about yourself? I can name a thousand that I yeah. like about you. Yeah. We just <laughs> love Don. <laughs> All of me. <laughs> All of me is perfect. <laughs> Listen, I'm almost 40, so. No, you're not. Yes. 40? Yes. When I found out that you had kids, I was like, no way. Yeah. Wait, what? I'm almost 40. Kids. I'll be 40 next March. And <gasps> by this Birthday time, party. it's just like, if you don't love every part of yourself by now, you can't own it, then you're just going to be a heap of mess. So I love it. There's always stuff about me that I want to make better. Right. Mm -hmm. And I want to, but I want to make it the best version of me. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I always kind of strive to be just the best version of me. Awesome. I love that. Because I'm awesome. You are awesome. Oh, yeah. You're all awesome. Great. Watching this, you are you're awesome. awesome. All of you are awesome. <laughs> be awesome. Yeah, I know. And one last question is uh, what would be your last meal here on earth? Ooh. This one's always tough. Ooh. Uh, again, I go back to Thanksgiving dinner. Really, I yeah. went too. Big yeah. fat turkey, fried, of course. Oh, there's um, no other option. Yes. No other way to have a turkey. Really? And then, oh you yes. Have a fried turkey? No. Uh, nah. It seals in the juices without like you deep adding. Fry it? Yes. It's, like a, it's a you South Carolina the whole delicacy. Bird in, fried turkey. And it's <laughs> done in an hour. You know, that pretty much wraps this up. We are so glad you guys watched this episode, and we'll catch you in our next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.